veterinarian, Dr. Joe, is here this midday, of course, as every Thursday, here to answer your online pet questions. And he has brought along a little friend. This is uh, four-year-old Bo. This is Bo, yeah. He's a, everyone thought he's a little lamb. He's not. He's, <laughs> he is like, he got, he's, yeah. he's a chunky little lamb. He's, a, he's actually chunky. Uh, he came from kind of a house where they didn't groom too much and weren't really taking good care except for he got to eat pretty good. Yeah, there's like four of them. The other, well, there's one black and a couple black and whites. And he's he's probably the, the shyest out of all of them. But he's a nice little dog. This is a poodle uh -huh. is what happens when you shave a poodle completely or whatever, <laughs> but he's doing, he's doing real good. He's in good health and everything. Yeah, so. if, you, if you like a dog that's not the leader of the pack. Yes, Bo yes is he's the not a leader of the pack. He needs, he needs, a, he needs a fo to follow somebody. But yeah, yeah, he, he's he is guy, gentle so. and quiet and just he a is. nice he's little a, guy. He's a, he's a real good little Make somebody dog, a good so. pet. Good, good All right, well, let's, let's get to our yes. first question, shall we? This is from Chris. Uh, he says, uh, some ice cream shops have what they call pup cups. I think it's vanilla ice cream or whipped cream. Is it okay <clears throat> for my dog to have? I hope so. I've given a lot of them to well, my dogs. Well, my official answer is dogs should never have human food. <laughs> <laughs> my personal answer is my dog has accidentally, quote unquote, had an ice cream cone, you know. But in all seriousness, <laughs> like diabetics shouldn't have it or whatever. But generally speaking, no, it shouldn't shouldn't hurt them or whatever. So, but yeah, it's fun to go to the ice cream. It is. It's always it <laughs> always nice to stop by. That's right. Well, this next one, uh, this is a little different. Uh, Vanessa says, yes. um, I just got two cats and I'm allergic to one or both of them. I've never been allergic to cats before. What can I do about their dander? So a lot of times we we often say, hey, you know, brush them as often as you can. Of course, you're being allergic. That may not, you know, work as well for you, whatever. Uh, you, know, you want someone else to do that. But there's actually sh shampoos and things that cut down on dander. Uh, and I recommend you talk to your personal allergist as well because a lot of times they would have some ideas too, and it may be something that you need to do as well. You may be becoming more allergic as life goes on. So. Sure, sure. And our final question, this one is uh, from Rachel. She says, uh, my Border Collie has a rash on her stomach and hind legs. We've tried creams and shampoos. Nothing seems to work. Is there anything else I can try? Yeah, those rashes that do not go away generally have like an underlying cause um, that's probably not being addressed or not enough anyway. And so your veterinarian should probably kind of examine and you may have to go on some oral medicine because some of those are like little skin infections that need some antibiotics or if it kind of keeps going, you may need some anti-inflammatories or something. But yeah, absolutely. And look around and see if there's anything that might be irritating the dog as well if they go outside a lot or grasses or things like that as well. So all right. It's okay, bud. Well, thank you very much. If you have any questions for Dr. Joe, you can post those on our KGRH TV Facebook page. And of course, if you are interested in adopting our little friend Bo here, you can call the pet adoption link at the number there on your screen. And if you need to learn more about the Heritage Veterinary Hospital or see other pets who need homes, head to our website, KJRH.com.